Hi everybody, it's Sean Warren with SeanWarrenFineArt.com and yes, I'm still on too much caffeine. Today I'm going to talk to you about canvas panels. The different types available, whether you buy them in the store or you make them yourself and, and how you would make one yourself. Let's look at our choices. So I have here an artist loft canvas board that I purchased at Michael's. Um, it's cardboard wrapped in canvas and gessoed. So, what's wrong with this? Well, this is great if you're doing little practice things, if you're a student and you're doing stuff for school. Um, but, frankly, if you were buying a piece of art, would you want it to say, title, artist, medium, date, signature? You might as well put your grade on there as well. So, I don't like that this has this on the back and it's also Cardboard to me is not a very good surface. It's not really archival. If it gets wet, it's going to warp. So this is okay for practice and, and that type of stuff, but um, I wouldn't sell this to somebody. There are, you know, Fredericks makes better ones, but I still, I'm not a fan of the cardboard wrapped or canvas wrapped cardboard myself. So that leads us to some other choices. This right here, this is hardboard panel 12 by 16. Um, it can be called chipboard, MFD, masonite. It's pretty thin. I think it's like a sixteenth of an inch, perhaps. This is what I like to use. I buy this at um, a local art supply store. And there's two things you can do with it. If you like it really smooth, here's what I do. I take it and I use Rust-Oleum Clean Metal Primer, white. And I take it outside and I spray both sides of it. And this gives it a really nice finish. It's like an eggshell finish. It's got a little bit of tooth on it for your paint to pick up, you know, it'll, it, so your paint will stick to it. Um, but that's a nice way to do it. You have to do both sides because this does warp. If you get one side wet and you don't get the other side wet, it's going to warp. So I do like using this. The only thing I don't like about this um, is that it, it tends to like pick up static. And I don't know if it's because of the material it's made of. Even when it's painted, it like attracts dust. So I've painted portraits on here and had it come out with like, it's attracting dog hair and God knows my dog sheds like a, hmm. Anyway. Sheds like a Labrador, but he's not a Labrador. So anyway, it just picks up a lot of junk. So my, and here's one that's covered like that. I have not done the back side yet. The smaller sizes don't seem to have the warping problem. If it doesn't warp on you when you spray it, you're good to go. You don't need to do the back. Um, but this is a smaller one um, that I sprayed with that. The other option that you have is to cover one of these MDF boards with canvas, with raw canvas. And this one has been covered like that. So it's MDF on the back. And what I do is I buy my canvas from Joanne Fabric. I buy a bolt at a time and I wait till I have a 50% off coupon and then I buy the whole bolt. So what I did for this is I took the canvas and I cut it down um, bigger than this. So it's, you know, it overlaps and then I use wood glue um, you can use wood glue or Elmer's glue, um, and you can thin it down with a little water if you want. So you paint the board with your glue, and then you put your canvas down over top of it. And I have a little uh, brayer like you would use in silk screening. I don't have it to show you, but I have a little brayer. It's a little roller that I, I roll it down real good. And then I trim the edges with an X-Acto knife. And I haven't tried spraying this. I might try that. But then what I do is I just put several coats of gesso on it. I put gesso down and then I sand it. And then I put more gesso down. So I do that. I do about three coats of gesso. So I'm actually pretty happy with this. It doesn't attract the dirt um, like the one that doesn't have the canvas on it. So um, I like this. I like that it's got a nice hard back on it and it looks more professional. I take the sticker off of it, of course. You can also um, 
write, you know, take a Sharpie and write your information on the back of it. Um, yeah, this one didn't warp either, so maybe I'll take that. Well, it's a little warped. It's got a little bit of a bend in it. So what you can do is paint the back of it, you know, before you sell it. If you have a warping problem, if not, if you put it in a frame and you can't tell, looks fine, don't worry about it. But I think my next experiment, and I'll let you guys know how it goes, is to spray, to do the canvas prep, glue it on with the Elmer's glue, and try the Rust-Oleum spray on rather than painting the gesso on. So um, those are some ideas for preparing canvas panels. I like to use canvas panels because they take up less space. And also it's easy to frame them. You can just buy a ready-made frame and they go right in there. Um, I usually do have to put an extra piece of board behind it because it kind of wiggles around a little bit. Um, at least on some of the, the custom frames. If I buy a frame that's already got the little clips in it, it usually will fit in there pretty good. But on the bigger ones, I bought those nice fancy frames, well nice, from Hobby Lobby and I've had to put the little twisty things to hold it in and there was a little too much play on that one so I had to put an extra piece of the MFD board in that one. So anyway, those are some um, options um, to using a stretch canvas if you don't want to use a stretch canvas. Um, and we'll talk to you later with more tips. Thank you for visiting.